Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, a General Hospital fan podcast. Hi. Hi. So, it's the weekly recap for October 16th. It's the weekly recap for October 12th or 16th, and... If you're listening to this, chances are you listened to my little snippet about Heather Weber hacking our computer system. Let's just say technology hates me right now. <laughs> so this is now our third time doing the recap. Third time's the charm. It's going to be perfect. But the second one was so good and it was perfect. And if you can figure out how to fix that one eventually, we should release it as a bonus episode. I even we were paid pretty funny. somebody on Fiverr to clean it up. And he even messaged me and was like, I slept on it and I tried some different things. He's like, this is the best that I can get. So learning experience. Yeah. When you get a new computer, even though things sound right, the first two times that you do something, do it for a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, (laughs) seventh, eighth, ninth time. So we are going to try to, I guess, recapture some of the magic, but it really was so good. Maybe we'll just release it as a bonus. That way, if you want to listen to it, it's bad. (laughs) It it can be our blooper reel for the past year and a half. There you go. Combined into one episode. And maybe as we talk again, it'll spark the same magic. Maybe. Or even better. Sometimes we're even funnier the next time around. Sometimes. Yes. There you go. All right. We started with. Monday was Lulu and Dante yes. coming off of the cliffhanger Friday. Yes. Very well done. And that's the Lulu that we always complain about missing. So Yes, exactly. And I said that my gold star went to all of them, actually, because they were very mature meeting the new partner and all that kind of stuff. I don't think I'd be that mature. But mostly Dustin, because that has to be so exceptionally uncomfortable. I mean, first of all, he walks out shirtless, so... See, I think it would be more difficult for Dante because he knows it's his fault that they're not yeah, together. Abs- yeah. And Dustin was kind of, even though he didn't mean to, claiming his spot. Like, I feel comfortable enough to walk around without my shirt on. Right. I belong here. You're the odd man out, dude. True. true so true, true. I can understand that Dante, why he was having that fantasy of pulling, not pulling a gun on him, but punching him. He did pull a gun on him in his fantasy. Yes. I, I wouldn't have gone that far in my fantasy. I've had fantasies about wanting to hurt other people. <laughs> and I never pulled a gun, even in my fantasy. We really so. need to be careful about stuff that we say on things like this. <laughs> because on Netflix, they had the American Murder, which was the Chris Watts. Oh, yes, know. yes. Yeah. Well, they pulled a lot of her Facebook messages. The thing that scared me the most, I mean, okay, the whole thing is absolutely horrific and disgusting, but the thing that scared me the most is when they were showing her text messages, it would show her starting to write and delete. Yes. Do you know how many things I've started to write and then wind up deleting? Right. No, they can, they can pull in everything and anything, but you're in charge of my 2020. All right. I don't feel bad saying the stuff that I say because it's on record on the podcast and just in general life that. There was some um, fidelity problems in my marriage. So, yeah. Right. There was other chicks that I definitely had the urge to punch in the face. We are all human. So, I never did <laughs> or punched my ex for that matter. So, we're all good. But I totally got where Dante was coming from. A gun was a little extreme. But with his training, maybe that's right. Really good that's too. his. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's part of the PTSD. Right. Which now they're using in their favor, which is not cool. True. True. They could write that a little bit better. But, and Lulu was good too. I mean, I can't imagine the shock of opening the door and there's your ex-husband that you thought was going to be gone for another 20 years. Right. And it's been a year and a half. Like she was never going to see him again. Right. And like she said, if you would have told me I had to wait a year and a half, I would have waited. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you can't put a timeline on mental health. No, no, you can't, but. 
I feel like he rushed into pushing the divorce yes. and maybe he really was trying to be a better person and let her go instead of wasting her time. But as the wife, she would have preferred to wait and see sure. how it goes. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I like their chemistry. They were right back where they used to be. And that it's proof that she is a good actress. Yes. It was bad writing. Mm -hmm. So thank you writers for finally writing our Lulu correctly again. Yes. Absolutely. She is now Luke and Laura's daughter. Right. Yep. So one of the things that I had said was that Scott was actually being semi-selfless with offering up. <laughs> now I have to argue with you for the third time. I know. This. He was not being selfless. Well, I was bringing back the fight. We had a conversation about it, and I kind of understand where you're coming from. I was hoping that she would change your mind by the third time around. But they don't know that. He was not being selfless. He may have had some good intention behind it. He was not being selfless because he was asking for a cut of the profit. In all fairness, though, did he ever sell his house and give them the money? Maybe that was just him getting paid back. Although, if all he was getting back was a portion of that, that's, Scotty, we got to up your real estate game. Right. I don't feel like Lucy would sell something for that cheap. So Not no. to Scotty. But he was willing to take the chance of Nicholas and Ava exposing him as the blackmailer and doing that. However, when he handed the checks over to them and said, now just take these to the bank and you'll be good, that undoes everything. Right. You can see who cashes a check and they're not cashing checks for that amount of money without asking for ID and an established bank account and all When I worked at the bank, you couldn't take out like $10 without an ID. <laughs> I had to write that stuff down. Right. No, he was insane with that. And $25,000 each. He should have been taking, have some flags raised. Right. And he shouldn't be taking that kind of risk because if someone calls him out, he's going to lose his license. And then poor Diana is going to have all that work. Because Alexis doesn't have her license. Maybe Robert can actually start working. No, because he's still the DA or whatever, remember? Can he not? I don't, I don't know. He I hasn't even done anything as the DA, though. But I don't think he can work cases on the side. Okay. I think he has to just do. Dear law professionals, <laughs> please fill us in on how this works. <laughs> what exactly because does According the DA to Law do? and Order and all those shows, the DAs do more than Robert does. Oh, I'm sure they're supposed to do more than he does. I just mean he can't handle, I don't feel like he can be the DA and then handle my murder case. Unless right, he's he representing. Would be the prosecutor, yeah. Yeah. He couldn't be my representation for it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's where I'm at. Gotcha. I don't know if I'm right, but. I, I don't like know either. To pretend like I am, so. But do you think that Ava and Nicholas are going to team up? Because I think when Nick, Ava picked up Nicholas's signature, I think it's going to. Light bulb. Right. She's They're not doing that the dumb. same thing to him. Yeah. She's not that dumb. She's definitely going to go. That's going to be an interesting conversation. But are they going to fight or what? are they going to team up? I think a little bit of both. I think she's going to go to him expecting that he cheated more than she cheated. And that's going to hurt her feelings and be a fight. But once he says it was one stupid kiss, it wasn't even that good. And she says the same thing. They're going to realize they were set up. You mean they both kissed us on the same day? Right. And it's, someone took pictures exactly. at each? Gee, wonder Ooh. how that happened. I wonder if that was a setup or something. Yeah. So then they're going to team up and that'll bring them closer together. Because he told Alexis he didn't want to get divorced. He did. That was kind of cute. It was. I liked how open and honest he was being with her. And he did have one of my favorite lines from the week with, Telling Ava that a serial killer is targeting us. Thought we could, thought it could be something that we talk about over coffee and toast. <laughs> I enjoy a little true crime with my breakfast. I I don't know where to go from there. I'm just picturing them sitting around watching 2020, discussing how their lives parallel some storyline. Well, we talk about how their lives parallel 2020. Oh, oh, didn't talk about this. It was a couple weeks ago. Um. You, you know how Nell killed her first fiance with the kayak, the, the kayak and uh -huh. everything? Do you know that that actually happened? Yes. In the Hudson River? Yes. Okay. Did we talk about this before? I think we did. Okay, because I watched it on an episode of something that was from the ID channel. And I was like, that's Nell. I think because that was the whole conversation about how Donna Day paralleled that with other cult. Oh, which Jack if you are not watching The Val through HBO Max, do it. Oh, I have not watched that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's slow. 
Okay. But it's deep. All right. Yes. But then the other thing that I liked that was said this week is actually tying back to Alexis when Sonny said that he did not want to talk politics, especially with her. <laughs> I hope that everyone got that joke as well as we did. I feel like everyone has to follow I would her. think that you have to. You yeah. have to. Yes. She's very politically driven. Yes. Do you have an idea for a podcast but don't know where to start? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is such an easy way to record and edit a podcast, and you can do it from either your phone or computer. Best part is you don't have to worry about getting it out there. Anchor distributes to many platforms, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. You can start making money right away without having a minimum number of listeners, too. Anchor really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. And I did say that she does a good job of acting like someone who is drunk trying to act like they're not drunk. Yes. Which is not a good thing, but she's doing a great job at a not good thing. Right. She's a very good actress, but I feel like she's played this part too many times. It's like second half to her now. She's good to go. Yeah. We didn't mention the first two takes of this. Uh, Nina taking responsibility for Nell's body. Why? Yeah, that was weird. Thank you. I think that's why we didn't talk about it. I guess so. But I saw it in my notes and I was like. She's really didn't getting. didn't mention that, but why? That's a very expensive thing to do. She's it's got like, the money. I don't care. That's still very expensive. If someone, if I felt there was someone who was not being respected properly in death, I would send some flowers or something. I wouldn't say, oh, let me just plan their whole funeral. I'll take over for it. Well, and my friend that's a funeral director says that they just cremate. Like, unfortunately, there are people whose families don't pick them up. Right. And so they just get cremated and they kind of just stay in storage. Right. I hate that. But I can see that. I can see, you know what? Okay. Let me get her a tombstone. Yes. Or. Exactly. I I can see it. I don't know. I can see being helpful. I can't see planning the whole thing. Like, I really hope there's not an actual memorial, memorial and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. Just pay for the plot, put a headstone. I don't even know what you're going to write on the headstone other than her name, name and birth. Mm-hmm. Cause there's not really anything nice you can put on it. So I don't know, but that was just weird because she doesn't know that Nell's supposed to be her daughter. Right. I just, I don't feel like you'd do that. And it's not like they had that good of a relationship right before she passed. Right. She just testified against her. Exactly. So no. Maybe that's what she feels is her way of being able to make it up. Because she feels guilty for having testified against her. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. Again, as long as they don't do a memorial, then we'll be okay. Yes. I thought Britt was really cute when Peter and Maxie were getting engaged and she was just (laughs) sobbing it up all happy and everything. Britt was fine. I just don't like Peter and Maxie being engaged. This whole thing is just going to, I don't know. It was, it was interesting to have Anna find her loophole where she can say, Oh, here, you are Alex's son because she does have the marker for rheumatoid arthritis. Right. But when she was explaining it to Finn, how she was explaining it to <laughs> Finn, you know, the doctor. Right. I said she was anisplaining. Yes. Not mansplaining. Anisplaining. But he let her. He thought it was sexy. Yeah, he did. So whatever works for your relationship. <laughs> they need to get that spark back. They do. I wonder if when everything comes out, if they're going to put Maxie and Spinelli back together. Because we haven't seen Ellie at all. I know. We've talked about this. Being that she's the one that why they moved back to Port Charles, maybe we'd see her every once in a while. You know. Even just a phone call. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ellie's calling me. I have to get this. Right. But now that we're getting closer to Peter being exposed, because they can't leave Maxie with three kids and no significant other. Right. They just can't. Not saying that there's not a million women who do it, 
that's just so not fair. The first has or the first guy didn't work out fine. The next one dies and the next one turns out to be a nutcase. That's not fair. Right. She deserves better. She does. Don't we all? <laughs> there were two mentions of Frisco this week, though. And I said, wouldn't it be great if Liesl was actually helping Frisco uncover the bad stuff about Peter being that, you know, he's her Maxie's dad and maybe should be having a hand in this. However, he's kind of slow. Yeah. He's on that same plane that Lois is on. It's coming. Yes. <laughs> They're going to get there. On the He's way. been trying to save Maxie for a year. <laughs> he just hasn't made it. Yeah. Like, seriously, how... I know that... And Maxie talked all about this, about how her parents were not hands-on right. growing up, but how she is. And I understand the situation with her and Georgie. However, she was not hands-on. She saw Georgie twice a year. Right. She talked to her a lot, but she wasn't hands-on. So, like, that kind of rubbed me a little bit the wrong way, because I was like, mm. but you're not? But some people consider hands-on just because they have input, and I feel like... Spinelli would call her and say, I'm going to put Georgie in this music class. I'm going to put her in this dance class. I'm going to have that kind of stuff. Because she wouldn't talk about that kind of stuff every now and again. Right. But for the most part, I mean, she, for years we saw her, I never get to see Georgie. I never get to talk to Georgie. I never get to. So I got the impression that she was not as involved as. Right. Well, there was strict limitations with that crazy court order, but that's also time to be revisited. Also, I understand if she doesn't want to take, full custody away from Spinelli because that's not fair to Georgie or Spinelli. But yeah, especially now that you're back in town, we can do 50, 50 where two weeks she's with you and two weeks she's with me. That's not insane. Yeah. I don't understand why they haven't revisited that. It annoys me. I don't know. I don't know, but that's not very realistic. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, we talked about how Lucy how didn't Lucy know that that was Amy's voice? Seriously, she saw at how many nurse's right. balls. Right. Even that woman that doesn't live there was like, oh, you're the chick from the nurse's exactly. ball. Exactly. Exactly. So I don't know how they didn't know that. And that song was awful. Not awful, but awful no, it was. for deception. I, mean, I didn't like it to it begin with. Or something else. I don't know what. I don't know what you're marketing that that's the right song for. Okay. If the company's name was Phoenix. Right. Maybe. Right. Or the product was like out of the ruins. Maybe they have, you know how they have fun eyeshadow names? Maybe okay. they have an eyeshadow palette that's called Out of the Ruins or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. I'm trying to help them out because it was just awful. Or if the company's name was Pompeii or something Anything, from antiquity right? that I know is I ruins. Because seriously, we don't have. Maybe they're going to borrow Felicia's. <gasps> Aztec! <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that's going to be the cover picture. And that's how it's all going to tie together. I don't know. Maybe Frisco is going on that. <laughs> that. That's why Frisco is taking so long. He had to stop and get the jewels. Yes. Now he's on his way. Maxie pulled in a favor. Not, hey, Dad, yes. can you check out my boyfriend? But can you get me mom's necklace? Exactly. It all makes sense now. now I see where they're There we go. Now. Good job. <laughs> mm. Oh, and then we had that great in-depth conversation about Maxie calling Peter her lover. Your husband's not home right now for you to yell. He's lover. not. <laughs> Did you try it at dinner? So in the first recording, I told Shannon that she needed to, at dinner, just keep calling her husband lover and ask him to get her some water. Lover, get me water. And whatever, because his reaction would have been priceless. Did you try it? I didn't. <sighs> You're awful. Come we on. had an issue with the recording last night, so oh. I ate dinner by myself at the computer right. trying to fix it. So the word lover was not being tossed around at all last night. No. Recording issues. Okay. And I was well. unnecessarily cranky towards him. Mm, that happens. He should know by now that when yeah. I am that, right. I, I wasn't like freaking out, stressed out, but I was like, seriously, I cannot talk about anything else right now. Like, right. Unless you have a solution for this, or if a kid is bleeding, right? Even then, depending on what it is, you just need to handle it. Yeah. And nope, I, I need to figure this out. And I will give him and his friends. Logan actually did try to fix it also Aww. before I went to Fiverr. That so was very nice. I mean, we had all hands on deck. Very nice. 
I feel bad I didn't do anything, but I couldn't have been any help because I have no That's idea. A, you had emotional support for me because I'm just texting you, seriously, this is bad. <laughs> And I'm like, it sounds like you're Charlie Brown's teacher talking to a tin can. That is exactly what it sounded like. We could have pretended like I had to wear a mask. <laughs> this is <laughs> Amanda <laughs> through her mask. It'll all work out. Nice. Again, third time's the charm. Yes. And I do think that Valentine is actually going to be the one that saves Sasha. And I know I talked about that last week, too. Yeah. He really. He paid attention. He saw she's in a downward spiral. Yeah. And I think he's going to pull Chase into it and say, listen, dude, right. This is, yeah, you got to do something. Yeah. Got to do something. What do you think Chase will do? Because he's a cop. He arrested his own girlfriend. At I, the... I think he's going to give her the option you need, because assuming she doesn't have anything on her, like okay. he's not, he has no reason to search her. So assuming she doesn't have anything, like he walks in on her smoking, snorting, whatever, then he can come to it with, look, you need to go do rehab or I'm going to have to turn you in. Yeah. Gotcha. Because right now there's no conflict of interest if he says that. He's not going against the law because he has no reason. He has no way of knowing that's what it is. Did you ask your ex this? I didn't. I just okay. know this. Amanda's ex is a drug <laughs> cop. <laughs> yes. So that's why. Yes. And it may be different in different states. I don't, I have oh, no sure, idea. Yeah. I'm totally just coming from the Pennsylvania perspective, but you have to have probable cause. Yeah. So, but Valentine saying that to him wouldn't be, I don't think so. Okay. Again, don't quote me. I think that would just be hearsay. So, okay. I mean, like I can't call the cops and say Shannon has a whole bunch of drugs in her house and they're going to just come search it like that. They'd have to go get a warrant and all that. Hmm. And me being one person saying it wouldn't be enough. Okay. So fair enough. That's my take. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me if I am wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the way that it works from the limited knowledge I have. Gotcha. And then Valentine letting Brooklyn know that she is the one responsible for her wreck of a life. Yep. Although I did feel bad for her because she made, like she told Ned, she actually made a very educated decision. Right. Just slightly naive. Yeah. I mean, her life is in a bad place right now, but it could be so much worse. It's not like she can't come back from this. Right. So, yeah, maybe it's just a learning lesson that she needed to have. But she's of the age that she would have seen Ashley Simpson on SNL, right? <laughs> yes. Like, she, she should know that this lip syncing thing does not I'm work. pretty sure. She might be a little too young for Millie yes, Vanilli. she's definitely too young for Millie Vanilli. But, yeah. But the Ashley Simpson yeah. doing the jig on SNL. I'm pretty sure. She should. She should have. Yes. Maybe okay. you want to send her the clip just to make sure. <laughs> no, I don't think she's going to learn this lesson until after she blackmails Ned for hearing him talk to Monica, though. Yeah. Which I still don't understand the point of. Monica already called you out on the fact that she knew you were cheating. So why did you have to confirm it? I feel like she just insinuated that I feel this like is she how Edward knew. was. Like, Edward would step out on Lila. You know, don't do that. I don't know that she knew that it had actually happened already but either way she knew he was on that path so mm -hmm. i don't feel like he needed to confirm it for her because that's just weird having them talk he slept with monica yeah. and had an affair with monica when she was still married to alan right was he cheating on somebody too during oh, that i don't know has he ever really cheated yeah because he cheated with lucy that was how that started and then monica no, not Alan. Oh, I thought you were asking Ned. Alan. I'm like, what? No, no. I thought you were asking if to Has, justify no, I'm Monica sorry. cheating. No. Had Alan, was I'm Alan sorry. cheating yes. at the same time? Okay. Alan was, yes. Two wrongs don't make a right. Correct. Uh, absolutely right. But has, has Ned, Ned cheated ever before? cheated? I don't think he has. He has to have. I can't think. He didn't cheat on Lois. He didn't cheat on Alexis. He didn't even cheat on Chloe because... Chloe knew that he was hooking up with Alexis. Mm, when him and Lois got together, he was kind of sort of with Catherine. So he was playing both sides. Right. There. The two Mrs. Ashtons, but she was blackmailing him. Does that count as cheating? I mean, technically. I don't think they, I don't think they consummated the marriage, did they? Oh, God, I hope not. I don't think so. All right. 
I guess not. Wow, then that's she a could really have. big deal. Well, they, I mean, they could have, but I I don't feel like he would have. Well, then he should feel even worse about cheating. I think and that's why he does. should be nicer to Alexis. Because he's making it seem like it's more her fault than his fault. She's well, not in a relationship. Right. And especially where Olivia told him that she saw her drinking. Right. You know, that needs to be the conversation, not... The sex. And there's no way that Ned didn't know that she was drinking. We talked about he this He was so week. tanked, though. I don't care. I still feel like he knew. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, he needs to quit blaming her, take some responsibility, and let Olivia know what happened. Even though what she's she drinking is definitely better. vodka. <laughs> Even though it said definite vodka. That was so funny. I don't think I've ever paid attention to the names like that closely. And that was perfect. And that was very beautifully done yeah. product placement. Yep. Fake product placement? Uh-huh. Faux product placement? So funny. Whatever. Mm. And then Cameron coming to the hospital with his cut hand asking his mom to Yeah, but see all it. Stupid dev ruined all that. I'm so mad. <sighs> so mad. Not only did he take something that didn't belong to him? But then to write like a whole new page, he didn't even rewrite something she wrote. He just wrote a whole new page. I am very proud of Cam though for, and I didn't really expect anything less, but he was like freaking out. He's like, you do not take someone's personal property, even if they throw it away. Right. No, he did really good. I think that would be hard. Well, okay. So here's one thing you just said, Dev wrote a clean, what? Okay. I love my notebooks. Mm-hmm. I do not write on one page, on a quarter of a page, and throw out the entire notebook. No. He had an entire notebook. Mm-hmm. So did he grab her journal? But the was... other written pages is what I'm getting at, is that it appeared as though this was the only one that had. Right. But then he threw it away. I thought he would rip out that page and take the book back and put it in the basement. That would have been the smart thing to do. But again, he's a 17-year-old boy. True. So I don't know if that was her actual Not saying the 17-year-old journal. boys are dumb, but I'm saying, like, he wasn't thinking. They don't think the whole process through. Yes. Yeah. We're allowed to say that because we've had 17-year-old boys. Yeah. So. I mean, he was just like, okay, I'm done with this now. Right. Oh, yeah. I have to put it back for her. <laughs> or else she's going to freak out. Right. She's going to look for it eventually, mm-hmm. especially with all of the stuff going on. Well, yeah, because Carly even suggested, why don't you write in your journal? Right. Which, wasn't Carly concerned with her writing in the journal too much? So I'm glad to see that Carly has embraced it's the a writing in the journal. It's a habit if you don't get obsessed with it. So maybe now that she's backed off from it, Carly's saying, let's introduce it, you know, once a week, once every... It's a lot more healthy than whatever. saying the things. Very true. Very true. You want to read my diary sometime from whenever I was <laughs> younger? It's, it's a page turner. I feel like I could publish mine because I kept one and I wrote in it every night when I was pregnant with Matt and all the drama was going on. Aww. of His biological dad was being a jerk back then. Thank God he grew, grew up and is not a jerk like that anymore. But so I wrote like all my feelings out there. I feel like it would rival Robin's diary with how honest it was. Okay. <laughs> Look for Amanda's <laughs> diary. Where, where every, everywhere where books are sold. <laughs> or online or on Amazon. You can self-publish on Amazon now. You can. Yep. I don't know how much that costs. I don't know that anyone really wants to read my journal, but it is pretty good. We'll have a diary party and we can read them and then we can burn them because that's actually what I want to do. I, I feel like I'm at the point where I need to go get my journals out of the attic, maybe do a once glance through because I don't want my kids reading some of the stuff that I wrote. Even though they'll be considerably older. See, I would burn the later ones that discussed the issues with my ex because I wouldn't want the kids to read that stuff. Mm -hmm. But the ones from whenever I was a teenager, I really feel like they were good. Funny enough, cleaning out my basement, Emily was home because she's quarantined. And so she pulled out my... um, She's okay. She is. She's fine. Yeah, she was exposed to someone. That would be part of my reality check. She was exposed to someone, but she has... It's been over a week now and she's showed no symptoms. So I'm assuming that we're in the clear. But anyway, um, so she got my junior year yearbook, which is when I was with Matt's dad. And he filled up like an entire page and had some like detail written there. And so she's reading it and she's like, ew, mom. And I was like, well, if you're going to read it, you have to come at it from a 17-year-old's point of view. Right. And stick with that. You can't 
think about the fact it's your mom. Okay. I won't torch my yearbooks, but I will torch my diaries. Yes. Yeah. Yep. No, I feel like once you're over it, it could be healthy to cleanse and get rid of it. Yeah. But some stuff you don't always there's some want really, to forget. Yeah. So, it But there's some depends. bad stuff I need to not be able to have access to, to remember. Yeah. If that makes sense. I know. I understand. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes you reread it and it just makes you angry all over again and you've already dealt with it. So you don't need to keep going back to that. I place. read one page when we were moving mm-hmm. to this house because my husband, I had a babysitter's club diary. Oh, how cute. And my husband was like, what's this? And I opened up the one page and I read it to him and he's like, wow, you were an angry kid. And I just said, yeah. Yeah. And so. All right. See? Yep. If you're moving on, then time to burn them. But now Joss doesn't have that option because Dev threw it away. So. And I just, it's so out of character for the Dev that we know to be doing this. You know, it had been one thing if he's being vicious towards them. Right. If she would have dropped a notebook and had something written in it and he would have showed that to Cam, it still wouldn't have been okay. But you could see that temptation. Going out and finding her diary to then write lies in it. No. Or to intentionally cause hurt to her saying, don't you think that you're crowding them? Right. You know, he could have said that a lot better and just been like, you know, I've noticed that they've been closer since that whole dance thing. Right. The whole dance thing where, you know, they got kidnapped. Being kidnapped together might bring you a little closer. But she already knows that they kissed. So that wouldn't be a shock. Right. So. No, he he could have done it differently. Yeah. He was being a jerk. Not a fan of it. Is there an opposite of Gold Star? Because that's what Dev would get this week. He would get the red F. There you go. The big circle. And the line that your parent has to sign oh, on it. Uh, they don't do that anymore. They don't. <sighs> Our kids are really spoiled with how easy it is. Yes, they are. Yeah. Um. So the only thing left is the Chase and his mom drama. Yeah. Do you want to share your theory that I do not like I, this at is all? This is my theory. First of all, I had this theory before I played online. But after playing online, there's a lot of people that share you know the part theory? of the show that we don't do spoilers. But it's not a spoiler. It's just other people have the same opinion. I don't know for a fact that it's happening. Well, I neither do not like else. this opinion. Okay. So my opinion, I like your opinion better. So you, that's fine. I'm not saying I don't like my opinion. It's just where I want. <laughs> so my opinion. It's not my opinion. It's my thought. I think like most people <laughs> is that Jackie was hooking up with Finn okay, first. I did say that. And However. That perhaps. No. Chase is his child. No. But he doesn't know that, and he's going to be mad. Mm, nope. If you think there's a family rift now, once he figures that all out, oh, my gosh. Nope. It's going to nope, boom, nope, nope. explode. Nope, nope, nope. He cannot be. Because that's why she will talk dead. about it. As a grown woman, if you knew that someone was unhappy with you for something that you did 30 years ago, wouldn't you sit down and try to talk to them about it? If you were at no fault, look, I'm sorry that you're mad your dad moved on. We fell in love. There's nothing I can do. But now I've been around for 30 years. It's not like I was just some floozy coming around for a couple months. So let's talk this out. She does not want to talk about it. I think she was Finn's girlfriend first. I don't think there's a question in paternity. But I think that she was Finn's girlfriend first. Which then, we need to question, when was he with his wife? And I ran through a bunch of wrong names, like Roku and Reiki and Rafiki. (laughs) But it was really And it's Reiko. (laughs) You were trying to get there. I was. (laughs) It was such a good episode. (laughs) You guys are really missing out. It sounded like we had been drinking and we hadn't been. No. We just recorded later in the day, but there was no. We like. Oh, my theory was that Harmony is actually Laura Templeton. So then that makes Willow Chase's cousin which is a problem. And I don't like my thought because that means that Willow and Chase won't get back together, which I don't like. And, but then there's also that thing that we had talked about that you had mentioned that maybe Willow is also a twin of Nina's. Right. Or of Um, a daughter of Nina's. So. Right. Then they wouldn't be cousins. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So. (laughs) Go ahead. Okay, so if Willow winds up being Nina's daughter through Silas Clay, that would be her boyfriend's brother because Michael Easton 
played Silas Clay. So her boyfriend's brother would also be her dad. The same guy, different character. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. I don't like that. I don't like it either. You don't have to like your own thoughts. Oh, isn't that the truth? <sighs> Seriously. No, I like your way better because I, I feel like having him be Chase's dad is overdone. We've yeah. had too many paternity issues over the past couple years. We don't need to do and that they again. they just became good brothers. Right. You know, so let's not do that. Yeah. And poor Chase really likes his dad and his mom. He would be his so upset. His whole world would come tumbling down. To think More than it already done. has. Oh, and he yeah. was so honest. So maybe that's Jackie how about and, what he did. But maybe that's how him and Willow get back together. Maybe. See. Okay. See. Okay. See. There's a happy ending, silver lining. Okay. There you go. I'll take it. Okay. Anything else? I don't think so. See, this was a good episode. Not as good. I think the only part that we missed was the whole lover part because you really like saying that word Love yesterday. I. <laughs> my lover. It was so much fun with my lover. <laughs> you don't say that out in public. That's no. Really inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be meeting with a client. Oh, I have to text my lover that I'll be late. <laughs> Why have my sales suddenly declined? I don't know. She had not quit throwing the word lover around <laughs> and maybe they'll go back up again. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's what you said yesterday. Oh, there you go. Yeah, actually, it was <laughs> because my son appropriately uses knows that phrase now. And I mean, he's eighteen, so I'm not naive to that. But it's funny because now we can just look at each other when something is being said. Like we went out to dinner with my in laws, and my mother in law kept saying something, and I still can't remember what it was. <sighs> but he's like hawkeying me, waiting for me to just start like cracking up because he knows that's when I'm thinking like a 12 year old boy. There you go. So <laughs> yes, it's a good time. It's so funny. I guess that can just roll into the uh, reality check and yeah. I'm not going to do the fun thing because I'm just not even going to edit this. We are going straight to publish when we're done with this. Okie dokie. Because we've been having our fans wait long enough. Yes. I'm sure they've all been dying to get to our newest episode. So this is <laughs> Recap Uncut. There you go. That's a good title. Nice stop. Nice job. Thanks. So my way first reality check. Well, I said Emily's in quarantine. She was exposed to somebody at school. Not shocking. Everyone knew this was going to happen eventually. She's not sick. It's just kind of crazy having her home. She's a little dramatic. So she likes to play into all of that. And oh, Madeline had her last cheer game last night and mm. she was excited because it was at a high school. They had been doing all the other games at the practice field. Yeah. And so whenever I told her, she was like, oh, we get to be on the track and so like in the grass. And it was super cute. Oh, that's sweet. So okay. She was very excited. It was worth the hour drive out there that I was griping about all day yesterday <laughs> to see how happy she was and. Yeah. All of that stuff. I'm trying to but it was a late night. It was. I mean, for any kid. It was. Yeah. The game didn't start till 730. And it was like an hour away. But I think they did it just because they wanted to give them that experience of being right in the actual field. Under the lights. Yes. So. I don't know. Did I say anything else interesting yesterday? I don't know. I can't hear it. <laughs> oh, we talked about the checks. Because we had talked oh, about the checks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So when I was cleaning out my basement. I found a check that I had written when I was 17 for Soap Opera Weekly. And that was very impressive. And it was probably like your first paycheck, it, I think. It really, yes, it would have been because it was sometime in February and I got the job like the beginning of February, end of July, something like that. Or end of July, end of January. So yeah, that was my priorities back then. Spend my paycheck on some Soap Opera Weekly. Awesome. I used to subscribe to like Teen Beat and Seventeen. My mom would get those for me for Christmas, birthday, whatever. Nice. But apparently Soap Opera Weekly was just so exciting I had to buy it for myself. Oh, and we did give you a little plug because right now the Girl Scouts are selling magazines and nuts and candy. Yes, they are. So if you need some magazines, nuts, or candy, a.k.a. Magnuts. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. It's so funny that you know that because everyone's like, what? I'm like, magazine and nuts. But they don't put the candy in there. Which no, they don't. Because that's the best part in my opinion, but. 
Camagnuts. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> yeah. Just start yelling that at people. <laughs> Do you want to know why you didn't sell me? Oh, oh no. <laughs> so we'll stick with Magnuts. And now we probably know why right. I couldn't. Magnuts eat. Like, you can't do it either way. All right. Now I understand. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to help. <laughs> I will help troubleshoot. There you go. Yeah. And then my reality check was just that my son got two acceptances to, he first applied to three colleges and then he applied to two more as kind of like just in cases. And he got accepted into two of them. That's so awesome. We're still waiting to hear from the other three. And one of them he was accepted to academically. So he still has to work on his art por- portfolio to get fully accepted into the art program. But he's been talking with his art teachers and everything at school about getting the best you know, recommendation letters and stuff like that so that he so can, because one of his art teachers he's had since freshman year. Oh, okay. so I'm like, oh, that's going to be great. Cause she'll be able to say how much you've progressed. Right. So I'm really looking forward to that. So awesome. And then my daughter and I went to a thing on Saturday that was done for uh, special needs families and it was all ages and they did pumpkin painting. They had adaptive yoga and they did a little, learning to fish. And I shared with you that my husband, who is like Mr. Outdoorsman has never gone fishing. I'm still shocked. I don't know how that I don't know either. I feel like it's a family prank that they're just trying to get me to believe because I showed him the picture in the video and he's like, that's, she's done more fishing than I ever have. I'm like, what? Yeah. That doesn't match out. Yeah. He, he has a secret life. He's not telling you about where he was an avid fisherman. Probably. (laughs) Probably. That would not but I mean, so and his parents have never gone fishing and they're like, there's not really, first of all, we live in Pennsylvania, right? There's places. There is. I mean, yes, there's places. And he and I grew up in neighboring towns and our camps are about 20 minutes apart from each other. So he was in the same radius right. of all the places that I used to go fishing. So yeah. no, he has not a reason. No. Your lover needs to come My up lover. with a better story. Needs a better cover. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, you talked about the um, burrito guy and how nice he was. Oh, yeah. Brit, burritos by Brett. So if you're in the Pittsburgh area and get to see burritos by Brett, yummy, yummy, yummy. And he has a really good Chipotle ranch that he puts on the chicken burrito. Mm-hmm. And they're huge. I mean, it's not. They're very well worth it. All right. Yes. Check it out. Very yummy. So I guess join us on Thursday as we're going to have to re-record that, too. <laughs> But have a good week. And we'll meet you with the beer. Bye. Bye. See, that was good. We're so excited. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to go to peer54podcast.com to subscribe on your favorite platform. Don't forget to leave us a review. And you can also follow us on many social media channels. Just search for Peer 54 Podcast. Also, we are not perfect. So if there is something that we missed or messed up, just let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com. 